Hello guys, this is a basic technique for using auto layout in Figma. First, what is auto layout? Auto layout is a property you can add to frame and a component. It makes your design more dynamic, neat, and structured. Auto layout basic concept is feel like very similar with CSS flexible layout. It has a lot of configuration like put up padding, spacing, and alignment. So, why you must learn auto layout? Most of professionals just use auto layout to handle a lot of design, to make it design the TD consistent and make sense in the development progress. The receiving a design from another designer that not use the auto layout can be a nightmare. Why? Because the layer system will be difficult to understand, especially if they not name it. Okay. We're okay, we're finished with explanation. Let's begin. As you can see, I have an auto layout sample here. This is a login section. We have a username, password, and login. The best practice for auto layout, we can begin we can start to make a button first like this. First, you can add a text here for example we can name it like a button with 16 pixels size that's my standard actually and to add a auto layout property we can do a right click and add auto layout or the fastest way you can just uh, use circuit and keyboard shift plus a that's the faster and we have auto layout already you can see the configuration here this is the alignment this is the spacing this is the padding and if we want to undo the auto layout we can click this oh, sorry you can click this minus button and it will be a standard frame okay let's make it out the layout again okay i'm undo everything this is a general text and we just add out the layout with shift a it has some padding like this it has a configuration a configuration for a hug <laughs> To make it more simple, we can add a color here. For example, I add this blue color and I make it rounded. And I make the text white. Sorry, I just click the text. Okay. Right here, we can uh, <coughs> edit the text to make sure the auto layout function is good. For example, I add it to login button. button. Okay. It has a huge option here. We can set it to fix it. If you want, a fix it with button. Okay. We can use it fix it. And then for example, we can set the width to 3, 2, and 0. Okay, 320. <coughs> we have a button here. This is my standard of the button. If you want to make the height fixed also, it's no problem. For example, I put it for 48. This is the auto layout basics. Okay, we can put this button on the bottom. And next, we will make the text field. First, we can add the text. For example, this username. We can resize it to, for example, is 14. And then, we just can duplicate it. We can copy 
and pass or just control D to duplicate it okay we can make the color is like uh, 7 7 7 7 7 and it will be gray we can make the size bigger like this for example we can put it 16 and we add auto layout in this field okay we can make it uh, like man, more tidy up with the text above and we can <coughs> just retract it like it like this okay we just have the size of it and if we want to put this text to the alignment layer we just can click the alignment to the left and it will be left alignment for example if i hold alt it will has 10 10 10 padding we can change the padding on here this is left and right padding you can put like 20 uh, sorry 20 or 12 this is your choice i put it keep i give it maybe eight and i put the I get fix it and I put it uh, 48 <coughs> okay this it has two element uh, before that we can add a stroke to this and make the color is 7777 and make it rounded we can set it to 12 maybe it's more gray make it more gray and more is tiger okay we can click a component here and press hold alt to see the space between it it has two pixel spacing to make auto layout in here we just need to group we need to block all the component here and right click and make it an auto layout it has auto layout already we can make you can give it more space like just add more space here in this field for example i put a pixel and it has a space okay We can duplicate it like this. Sorry, uh, this is a stir. Uh, I put it away first. We can duplicate it first and put it here under of username. You can set the password and name it also password so we will make this field with auto layout okay i already have an icon here for example i duplicate the icon here first i just need to drag this icon inside this field okay and actually it has uh, there is two way to make a space between these two elements first this is the first you can set the space with auto and it will make space and you just need to set the space between it another another way is make more frame for example i put a frame outside and i put it in the middle okay and i change the fixed to be fill container 
and this is the best way for me to make a space because it's more make uh, dynamic and flexible for example i want to put another icon here for example i just make a chef here and i put it to here and it has space the space will automatically fill the space i can change it like this okay and we can add make everything we make in here to be auto layout uh, for example i just press shift and a or right click and add auto layout another cool thing is about auto layout is we can swap the object like this we can swap the position more easily and okay i think that's the tutorial of all the layout i hope you understand thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i will make another video for you guys thanks see you on another next time